Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Jesse Frank and welcome to the Dragon Days of Summer. Uh, I'll be doing something dragon related every Friday. It may be a sculpture like I've got today. Uh, it, I may do some drawings and paintings. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Um, but it'll always be something fun. So um, what I've got for you today is a, uh, a dragon bust. Uh, I got the beginning part of it done. And next week what I'll do is I'll put up uh, the finishing process. It's taken me a lot longer than what I thought it would. Uh, I started it earlier this week and uh, whew, uh, I've got my work cut out for me. So anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I've, I've gotten some interest in, in people purchasing these pieces, which is fantastic. I may do a Kickstarter uh, to raise funds for the molding materials to do this because the, uh, the clay is reusable. Uh, I'm using monster clay for this and I'll do a review on that uh, later. The original is always sacrificial and uh, it's, it's intended to be molded so that you can cast parts from it. And so what I'll probably do is I'll, uh, I'll get several of them done. I'll put up a Kickstarter to raise funds for the molding materials and, and that way you can buy things that way. And, uh, and that'll allow me to do future projects as well. So anyways, again, I hope you enjoy it and we will see you next Friday. Thanks, bye now. All right, so what I've got there is, um, right at first is a mold that I have specifically to cast this clay. Monster clay is a wax-based clay and so it is uh, able to be melted. It, it will never really harden, uh, which, which is great for modeling um, because you can reuse it over and over and over again. And um, once you have that initial investment, you're for the most part pretty much done. Uh, but it does mean that the original is sacrificial. So it's intended to be molded. So starting out here, um, the way this stuff works is that it's, it's um, at room temperature, it's pretty hard. And then when you heat it up in the crock pot, which I have sitting off to the right, it um, it softens and then turns into a liquid. So so what you want to do is you want to um, you want to uh, get it nice and warm. And then what you can do is you can mold it real easily. Uh, and then once it cools off to room temperature, you can you can harden it well. So here I've got the head of the things. Um, sculpted put a little wire in there for it to stick a little bit better now you can see i didn't need an armature for for this thing that's that's how stiff this stuff gets when it's when it's um uh when it's uh, room temperature so that makes it really really nice to work with it, you can do a lot of stuff with it so what i'm doing here uh, the reason why i chose to do this in monster clay as opposed to super sculpty super sculpty which you can see is the kind of peach looking one the pink one in the in the background um, is that this stuff because it gets hard it makes it a lot easier to sculpt out the scales and that sort of thing this is a this is a type of dragon that I had kind of developed um, when I was a teenager uh, and it has like a lot of a lot of armor plating on the back and that and that sort of thing I'll do some more that a little that are a little sleeker uh, and whatnot later. I had come up with an entire kind of thing uh, on dragons when I was much younger and how they would work into the ecosystem and how they would have evolved to be the way they were and you'd have different species and that sort of thing. Well, I'll kind of explore that as the as time goes on. And so here I am getting the um, getting everything blocked in uh, so that I can sculpt out the the armor plating uh, along the black along the back these took me a lot longer than what i what i expected it to i i usually like my little faces i'll get done in i don't know a half hour or even you know for a big one it might take me an hour and a half uh this this one <laughs> i've got a lot more time into I, i've got at least two full days into also i i also um normally I only speed these up to I think uh, eight times the speed. I have this double that. This is 16 times um, the speed that I usually run the videos at. So this is several several hours over several different um, sessions working on this. So um, and I'll only be able to get get done the the first part of it, and I'll I'll finish the rest of it next week, or at least I'll get the video posted next week.
So, so you can see what I did is I, I working on that preform. It's really important when you're going to um, do any sculpting, like uh, subtractive carving, which which this stuff is really good for. Is to uh, you want to get your preform as good as you can. You want everything even, and and you you want it to be almost like you know if I wanted to I could just detail this out and 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 it'll be done because that's going to make your life a lot easier once you start going in and adding these details like I am right like I'm I'm going to right here uh, I tried a bunch of different things trying to get the these ridge scales to look right and uh um cuz it's been a while since I've done anything this complicated um but uh yeah once you once you get your preform done and perfect, you really, really, I can't stress that enough, you want your preform just as good as you can possibly get it. Um, that makes that makes getting all the everything even here a lot easier later. Because it's really tough. I, I had to do that on this one a lot more than I wanted to. It's really tough once you um, start putting in these the detail on the individual scales to fix it after that you're really just creating a lot more work for yourself than uh than you would think so um all right getting close to the end here uh you can see i've got uh, quite a bit of detail on those ridges um and what what i did is you can see how smooth the face is i want to do the facial details last because i'm going to be handling a lot um as i as i do the details so um, that's pretty much got it. Thanks. We will see you next week. All right. Take care. Bye now.